Notes Receivable A note receivable is a note that promises that the payer will pay a payee a certain amount of money after a specified period of time in addition to a specified interest for monies borrowed or goods purchased on account. Let's assume that on January 1st, a business sold goods to a customer on account for $1,000. In return, the customer signed the promissory note that is due after one year and bears interest at 8% per year. From a business perspective, it is regarded as a note receivable because in this case, the business has the right to receive the principal amount in addition to the interest at maturity. The journal entry is as follows. Debit notes receivable for $1,000 and credit sales revenue for $1,000. On December 31st, the customer owes the principal amount of the note, which is $1,000, in addition to interest. But how do we calculate interest? Interest revenue equal principal amount times interest rate times period of time. The customer will pay $1,080, which represent the principal amount of $1,000 in addition to $80 of interest. In return, the business will cancel and return the note to the customer. It will recognize the payment with a debit to cash for $1,080 and credit to notes receivable for $1,000 to close it and the credit to interest revenue for $80 to recognize the interest that got accrued for the period and subsequently received while settling the note. Now let's assume that in the previous example, the sales happened on March 31st and the note was issued on that date. Also assume that the accounting period ends on December 31st. In this case, we need to record an adjusting entry on December 31st to recognize the accrual of interest revenue on that date. To calculate the accrued interest, we will multiply the principal amount by the interest rate by the time period, which is 9 months, divided by 12 months, so it will equal to $60. The entry will be debit interest receivable, which is an asset, and credit interest revenue. In the following year, and by the end of March, the customer will pay the principal amount plus the interest of one year, which is $80. However, we have already recorded $60 as revenue related to the previous year. So, the revenue that was not recorded in the new year is that which is related to the first three months. To calculate the interest, we will multiply the principal amount by the interest rate by the period, which is three months divided by 12, so the result will be equal to $20. Assuming that at this time the full amount of the note receivable and interest due was collected, the entry will be debit cash for $1,080 and credit interest receivable from prior year for $60 to close it as it is now paid and credit interest revenue for $20 which is the interest revenue for this year and credit notes receivable for $1,000.